Hello again and welcome back. Now it's story time. I hope you find this first yarn amusing. Uh, this is the first story. It's called Ego Trip. It's from my collection known as Alf and Safety Gone Mad, in which my friend Mr. Don Wheeler is the hero and elf inspector. In this one, he's just started his career as an elf inspector. Ego Trip When Donald left the grammar school, he knew he would go far, since he had a barrel load of O-levels and a handsome budgerigar. Once he had passed his elf exams, his confidence took root. He might one day prove to be a champion in trivial pursuit. He took to telling others in his office what to do, and all was done in such good faith that Donald never knew that he was the centre of derision and the cause of many a moan, not appreciated for his talents. He was often left alone. One day, a clerk called Arthur walked across and said, There's a phone call about you. Go to the leader's office down the corridor and be quick about it too. Don acted as if innocent and asked about his fate. Don't be so smug, Arthur replied. It's to do with being late. Don duly left his office to visit Mr. R. A. T. O. Glower, who ran the show most of the time, the one who had the then, just as he began to shake and tremble at the knee, he saw a wench outside O'Glower's office, of the kind you might take home for tea. Don went straight into his chat-up mode and asked, Why are you here? She replied, I'm here because of lateness, and I'm not in the best of cheer. That's a coincidence, said Ronald. I'm here for lights as well. I hope our Glower's feeling kind today, as with him, it's difficult to tell. The green light flickered at that moment, and Priscilla went on through, leaving Don out there in solitude to dwell on what he had to do. Out came Priscilla from our Glower's office, her face lit up with smiles, she said. He bought my line on heavy traffic and struck my transgressions from the files. Oh, there's a chance for me, thought Ronald. I can now relax a bit, and when the green light shows again, I'll make the best of it. Sit down, yelled Robbo Glower as Donald stepped inside. Yay, are here to have a rollicking. So many late, I can't abide. How many times this month, please tell me, have yay been late? Don spluttered. Uh, as far as I'm aware, the total's only eight. Only eight? screeched Robbo Glower. Out of twenty, a ye some kind of prat. Eight out of twenty. Do you know what percentage of the whole is that? Um, uh, it's 40%, offered our Ronald Donald, who was quickly on the draw. You're wrong, yelled Robbo Glower. Of that, I'm very sure. No, 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 sir, insisted Donald. You're wrong and I'm right. The answer is 40% as I've stated. You've no need to get all tight. Robo Glower turned bright crimson, and he lost his self-control, he said. Don't argue with me, son. You're just a worm that's lost its hole. You rank as nothing in your office, and I'm telling you, Boyek, if there's no improvement, I'll sling you out upon your neck. I am ordering you to mend your ways. I have met your sort before. So do not be dare belated in future, or to darken up my door. Yai, get out, nigh, it's on your bike. I can't stand your face. Ye, I had the gall to argue, and that's complete disgrace. 
poor Donald opened up the door and was about to pass right through when old Glower muttered to himself, Bloody hell, it is forty per cent. Though I'll not tell him it's true. Don staggered rather lamely out in the corridor. He knew he had a, had a rock at Rollick and he could tell a little more. And onwards without thinking he chanced into the street where he tripped into a lamppost as an extra kind of treat. Eventually he went back into his office where he met that soft same clerk who said, I see you have a battered face. Have you ever wrestled with a shark? Or did O'Glower lose his temper and give you a black eye? For if he did, we're all agreed. We know the reason why. Thanks for listening to my story. Please like, subscribe and turn your post notifications on for more.